Hey everyone, welcome back and let's write some more neat code today. So today let's solve the problem concatenation of array. We're given an integer array nums of length n. So maybe something like this where the length is obviously three values. We want to return a concatenation of this array, meaning we take this array and then append it to itself. So then the output array would be the original array plus the array again. So basically adding each of these values to the end of the array. So one, two, one. So we have two copies of this array combined into a single array, and that's what we want to return. Now, there are many ways to solve this problem. The easiest way probably would be to just iterate through every value in the input array. So go here, 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 and then take each of those values and just append it to the original array. So we can take the input array and then use that as the result and then return that. So we would take the first one, add it to the end, take two, add it to the end, take one, and add it to the end. There you go, there's the array, and that's what we would return. Another approach would be to actually create an output array. Initially, it would be empty. I'm just drawing it this way because I know this is how much space it's gonna take. But initially, it would be empty. We take each value and append it to the array, so one, two, one, and in this case, we want a concatenation. So we would do this once and then we do it twice. So now we'd add one, two, one. If this problem was not asking for a concatenation and it was actually asking for maybe three concatenations, then we would just do this same operation another time. So this is kind of a more extensible way to solve this problem because we might want to concatenate a variable number of times. And the important thing to note is that since this is like a dynamic array and we're taking each value and just pushing it to the end, each time we push a value, it's gonna be O of one time. And we're gonna do so n plus n times because the input array is of size n and we're basically creating a concatenation of it. So we're doing that with this array twice, but that's still gonna be big O of n. That's why I think doing it this way isn't really bad because the time complexity is the same. We are technically needing extra memory complexity if you count the result as needing additional memory. If you don't count it, I guess we're doing this in constant memory. But now let's go ahead and code up this approach. Okay, so we're going to create our result. I'm gonna call it ants for answer because that's what they were kind of using in the description of this problem. And then what we want to do is take every number in nums and append it to the answer. So just like this, we wanna do that with every value in the input array. How many times do we wanna do this? We wanna do it twice. So why not just wrap this function or this loop in an outer loop, which will execute, let's say two times, and then we pretty much have the result and we can return the answer. What I like about this solution is it's generic. Like what if the interviewer asks you now write code that will do this three times or four times or concatenate five times, or maybe there's a second variable given called X or you know something that will tell us how many times we want to do this. So we could put X over here and then our solution would basically satisfy that. Now, probably your interviewer won't ask you this, but I think this is good food for thought. So now let's just take this code and run it to make sure that it works. And as you can see, yes, it does. And it's pretty efficient. If this was helpful, please like and subscribe. If you're preparing for coding interviews, check out neatcode.io. It has a ton of free resources to help you prepare. Thanks for watching and hopefully I'll see you pretty soon.